Four children were among the eight people who were killed Sunday afternoon when a sandstorm caused a 22 vehicle pileup on Interstate 15 in Millard County. Yeah, this all happened around 430 yesterday when strong winds kicked up a large cloud of dust and sand between the meadow and Kanash exits in Millard County. The Utah Highway Patrol says that reduced visibility caused a minor collision on southbound I-15 and that wreck led to the deadly chain reaction pileup. A semi came in at low speed and rear ended another vehicle and then after that there were three significant impacts that caused the fatalities and the severe injuries. There were multiple crashes after that, but the significant ones were the ones that after the semi that hit the semi. Governor Spencer Cox took to social media saying, quote, we're stunned and saddened by the horrific accidents in Millard County. We fervently pray for the loved ones of those who perished and for those fighting for their lives. And today we're learning the devastating news that five of the deceased victims were members of the same St. George family. This afternoon, a former basketball player and coach at West Jordan High School is mourning the loss of his wife, plus a son, a daughter, a brother, and a nephew. This GoFundMe campaign says that Mason Sawyer was in St. George waiting for his family, but five of them never arrived. The fundraising page claims that his 30-year-old wife, Courtney, six-year-old son, Riggins, and two-year-old daughter, Frankie, were killed in the crash. On the page, Courtney is described as a loving wife, mother, daughter, and sister among her family, as well as a dedicated nurse. It also says Riggs had recently graduated preschool and loved basketball, superheroes, and Legos. And Frankie was two years old, spunky, and known as Daddy's Princess, her brother's shadow, and mom's mini-me. The GoFundMe says that Mason and Courtney's four-year-old son, Blue, survived the wreck, but Mason's older brother, 37-year-old Race Sawyer, and his son Ryder did not. Online profiles list Race as an employee in the healthcare field and a former boxer and mixed martial artist who leaves behind a wife, a son, and a daughter. The page states, Race was a dedicated and loving husband and father, an incredible athlete, loved to play games and preferred Snickers for breakfast and burgers for dinner. It also reads, Ryder was his mother's greatest teacher, always found the good in everything, and was humbly yet fiercely competitive in everything he did. Now, Ryder Sawyer of Lehigh was 12 years old, and that GoFundMe page has already raised more than $100,000 for the Sawyer families. Late this afternoon, we learned that the other three deceased victims are 51-year-old Robert Lorenzen and 47-year-old Maricela Lorenzen of Salt Lake City and 15-year-old Cameron Valentine of Yuma, Arizona. Three other crash victims are still listed in critical condition.